How's it going guys? Coffee here. Today I wanted to go over my planned league starter for the 3.22 Ancestor League. My plan is to be playing a Poison Blade Vortex Pathfinder. This is a build I've played uh, Blade Vortex for in the past, but I've never played it as the Poison variant. And even with the temporal change nerfs that occurred with bringing the um, duration effect that you get on it from 40% down to 25%. You're still looking at about 18 million DPS around here um, on a fairly decent budget. This is maybe 10, 15 divs at this point. Um, this is going to be for the late game here. As you can see, the late game, you'll just be using a couple of cold iron points. You'll want to be using a dunger bait with a plus two. Some Asinas gloves for your um, second curse. We're going to be using Marcus Submission for Despair, and we're going to be getting the Temporal Chains from Asinas. Um, you're just looking for a plus one necklace. Um, boots, you're just pretty much looking for your resistances here. You can get the Onslaught if you want it. You don't really need it. It's not that big of a deal. Um, same with the um, with the Implicits on it. You can roll those or don't. It's not that big of a deal. Um, pretty much the only flask you do want since rebirth if you can get it this is going to be an item it's under 10 chaos um, Ming's hearts you can get relatively cheap at the very beginning of league Marcus submission is one chaos Asenath's, um is maybe 50 chaos on day one but it drops to 10 chaos pretty quickly same with cold iron points they're about 10 chaos a piece and then for your jewels you're pretty much just looking for poison chance on hit and then life and either damage with poison, chaos damage, or physical damage. It doesn't really matter. They're all pretty much the same thing. Um, pretty standard flask setup here. You're just using a life flask. Um, Stibnite, granite, jade, and quicksilver. Um, for the um, early maps, basically where you're probably going to be at the end of day one, day two, something like that, you're going to be looking at wanting to be running um, double obliteration wands. Um, so basically around end of day one, you'll probably be leaning about this, about 6 million DPS. Um, with double obliteration ones, these are 1 to 2 chaos apiece. On league start, you're looking for just a simple tabula rasa. Um, from there, if you're going to try to upgrade your tabby, you want to either go to just either a plus 2 tabula, um, which you'll see a pretty significant DPS increase from that or you want to go to just a normal dendro bait that you can run either on like a five link and um but my recommendation is to just buy a plus two tabby first and then work on um getting a six link dendro which for me the way that i'm planning on doing it is i will just buy a plus two duration dendro bait and then i will go about um getting it linked uh, afterwards using tainted fusings because i feel like it's going to be the cheapest route um so we'll just put this on just the normal tabby so you can kind of get a feel for this for roughly where you should be after the end of day one. This is going to be under 30 chaos in gear here. Um, the Stib Light or the Sins Rebirth, again, under 10 chaos. Same thing with Ming's Heart. Marcus Submission is one chaos. Tabby is about 20 C on day one. And then Obliteration ones are one chaos apiece. Um, you do want to get Blade Vortex Duration on your helmet if you can. It's not that big of a deal. Um, same thing with like you eventually want to try to push for the Focus mod. While you are using Tabula, you are going to need to be using a Energy Shield Helmet um, in order to use EB because otherwise you're not going to have enough uh, ES to sustain it until you start using a Dendro Bait. Um, for the skills itself, pretty much here for your bossing, you'll end up using Cold Iron Points. So you will be using Whirling Blades for your mapping. You're just going to be running um, with Phase Run. So pretty much the playstyle for running this build with phase run if you're going to be using double obliteration wands. My recommendation is you just um, you wind yourself up to your 10 stacks with phase run and then you pop your quicksilver and you just run through the map. With that you're going to be over 200% movement speed. You don't really need anything else than that. You have phasing and you're basically just running through the middle of mobs and things will be exploding with your explosions from the, the obliteration wand and then with the pro lift that you're getting from pathfinder you're going to be getting all the explosions that you need my recommendation is to be running a vol blade vortex over like a level 21 bv um, because 
the damage you're going to be getting from Vol Blade Vortex here. So you can see here you're getting um, like 1.6 mil per um, Blade Vortex, and you do actually have two charges of this. So when it comes to boss damage, you can just throw both of them down, um, which is going to give you an extra 3 million DPS spike. And if you look at the duration that we have here under Vol BV, your Vol BV lasts for almost 11 seconds. Like that's more than enough to kill any boss or anything you come across. You run or come across some really um, tanky rares, or you're you know you popped your entire expedition pack because of the new Atlas mod. You just throw those down and you just absolutely obliterate everything as quickly as possible. Um, the other things in regards to the skills, you're just running a pretty simple um, aura setup. You're just Herald of Agony, Grace Malevolence. Um, you want to run steel skin because you don't have enough armor to be justifying um, molten shell after the nerfs you have your despair in your ring and before you get ass and ass gloves i know on day one they're typically really expensive like they're 70 80 chaos sometimes um, my recommendation is to just buy any generic gloves with temp chains on hit you can find these for one chaos um, anywhere or if you just run some ball site areas you have a really high chance of getting them just while leveling um, because those give you guaranteed corrupted rare uh, items you can kind of get these for yourself really really quickly um, so as soon as you end up getting a pair then you can very quickly go and start running the double curse setup which will increase your damage by a lot um, Back to the skills here, um, same thing again. Uh, you have flame dash in case you need it, but most of the time you're just gonna be spinning yourself up and you're just gonna be phase running through like a lawnmower and you're just gonna be running right through everything. In regards to the tree, um, this is kind of what you're looking at for the final tree here. Um, it is important that you get these jewels here with this 5% uh, chance to poison on hit. Um, without this, you'll see a pretty significant DPS drop because your poison chance will not be 100%. So it is important to be getting your 5% poison chance on hit for every single jewel that you have. For the three of them, it's more important than life or anything else on there. Um, and then outside of that, um, you're pretty much just going for maximum movement speed um, and suppression at that point. Um, and then you're just getting your poison chance. You're going for your going for your suppression. You're getting the poison enemies poison by you can't deal crits. Um, and then you are getting your mod over here for plague bear um, maximum plague value. You want to make sure you're rushing over here to get the extra poison chance to hit on spells, because otherwise you're going to be sitting at 75% poison chance. The curse effect mastery over here are going to be like the last points you get. Um, I wouldn't recommend really getting them before that. Um, same thing goes like this energy shield from equipped helmet. This is going to be big, you know, especially early on because you're not really going to have any other sources of ES most likely. This takes a lot of pressure off of yourself off of the build without having to go um, and force yourself to run ES on every single piece of gear. Um, so this is going to be your end game tree for your um, early leveling for this build as you first start. Um, what you're going to be running, I have a leveling um, tree here. You are going to be leveling with poison concoction or poisonous concoction rather. For this, you're just going to be using any shield and you're going to be shield charging. If you do have any friends that you're leveling with or people in guild that you can um, get stuff from, then the recommendation is going to be to um, get one of them to buy you a shield charge at level 12. Um, if you can't and you have to wait all the way until library, um, you can run a library around level 30 and you can um, get your shield charge then. If not, you can just continue to use smoke mine and dash until then. You will be swapping to poisonous concoction at level 12. Uh, until then, you'll just be using Caustic Arrow and Puncture. That You start with Caustic Arrow and you can just pick Puncture as uh, the first quest reward. You want to pick up Plague Bearer as soon as you get it. I believe it's around level 8. And then um, once you get your Poisonous Concoction at level 12, you'll buy um, Volley. And you'll use that on your 3 link. You'll use Volley and Chance to Poison. And then once you get your fourth link, you're just going to be adding um, lesser multiple projectiles. And then once you get high enough level for greater volley and gmp then you swap to those um for leveling um 
Poisonous Concoction was nerfed a couple leagues ago, but the only thing that really changed with the nerf is it just means you need to be running three life flasks instead of two. And then while you are leveling, it's really important to ensure that you are upgrading your life flasks as, as quickly as you can. So always be on the lookout for that. I highly recommend um, ensuring that you add life flasks to your filter in a way that you're going to be seeing them um, more often and it's going to be easier for you to keep track of them. Uh, I haven't actually recorded any footage of this. I mean, it's pretty much generic poison PV and nothing's really changed between any of the leagues. Um, I will post, I will link below um, a couple of leveling videos. There's a leveling video from John Groen for leveling Pathfinder. Um, with Poison Concoction, where he levels it in about 3 hours, 15 minutes. And then um, you can either look up um, Poison BB Pathfinder from 3.2.1, or I can link below to just one example of it um, with people utilizing just the double explosion setup with Asinas and Obliteration um, to just kind of get map clear in T16s. Um, but you'll find plenty of examples of people clearing T16s on one div or less with this build. It's really zoomy. Um, there's not really much to worry about. Not much has changed. Um, for the leveling tree itself, you are just going to be rushing the flask charges here. You want to grab these first flask charges here. And then don't worry about going up to this life. These will be like your last five points. And then you just want to kind of work yourself down over to the onslaught. Um, very quickly after that, that's going to increase your leveling by a lot. So again, get these life flasks here, and then you're just rushing the um, onslaught over here. You should uh, should actually move this mod here, this life flasks gain charges thing. You want to grab it here, and then you can skip this field medicine on the way to um, graceful assault. Again, you want to get your um, onslaught. Once you have that, then you can start filling out these other points by getting the extra poison chance and things like that for your um, trials and for your lab my recommendation is to get nature's adrenaline first alternatively you can get nature's reprisal but you'll pretty much notice that most of the time you'll just be killing entire packs with just one throw of poison concoction so it doesn't really feel that necessary to me versus just having higher uptime on your quicksilver with nature's adrenaline um, so you'll want to just grab this for a normal lab, grab Nature's Reprisal for Cruel Lab, and then my recommendation is Maxer, Master Toxicist for your Merc Lab, and then just Master Surgeon to finish things out, which will really help you as you scale into the later maps. Um, if you feel like you're good on damage and you don't want to, you don't care about the extra 20% for Master Toxicist, you can get, you can go Master Surgeon as well. It's up to you if you feel like you need the extra defense or not. Um, yeah, so other than that, that's my plan for now. I will follow up with this um, probably middle of day two sometime with kind of where I'm at with the build and my thoughts on the league mechanic. My Atlas plans with it are I just pretty much plan to do the standard um, Essence setup with um, the new Expedition node. And I'm just going to be throwing down the bomb, and if it doesn't have immune to chaos, then everything should blow up instantly. And if it happens to be immune to chaos, then I'll just run away and do it in the next map. So, um, yeah, have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. And other than that, see you in the next one.